So the other day when news came out that David Benavidez was going to remain at £175 and wait in line for his chance to fight the winner of Arta Batavia vs Dimitri Rivol, he also revealed that he'd be looking to fight in November or December against the non-champion. That wasn't David Benavidez directly, that was actually his manager Samson Lekowitz, but essentially he's talking on behalf of David Benavidez. And when that news broke, I kind of done a video saying that if he's going to fight at £175, and it's going to be against the non-champion because Samson Lekowitz also said that. I basically said that I'd like to see him fight Anthony Yard. It'd be a good fight. Probably a 50-50 fight at this minute. Like I wouldn't have called it a 50-50 fight before the Vodzig fight. But now I think it's basically a battle for third place at £175. Because Anthony Yard is decent enough but he does seem to fall every time he gets to the top table with the top dogs. But David Benavidez isn't really a top dog at £175. So maybe... This fight makes sense for Anthony Yard as well. I'm not too sure if it makes sense for David Benavidez to be honest. But as a fight fan, I can tell you this for a fact. It definitely makes sense to me. And I don't think I want to see David Benavidez fight anyone else at £175 other than Anthony Yard next. It'll just be a fight. Two bangers. One's been to the top level. Didn't quite make it. He's coming back down. And the other's trying to get to the top level. Needs to go past this guy. This solid gatekeeper slash fringe contender himself. I mean... Both bangers, both have fun fights. I would definitely like to see. I can't speak for anyone else, but it's up there in my top three fights I want to see this year. So that being said, I was pleasantly surprised when I see an article earlier where David Benavidez is essentially saying that, yeah, he likes Anthony Yard and he's open to the idea of having a fight with him or any other Brits or something along those lines. But long story short, November, December, David Benavidez is open to fighting Anthony Yard. Now, normally I'd say these two guys, different promotional networks, PBC are going to keep it in-house, blah, blah, blah. But the world of boxing has kind of changed recently. So this fight, where it may have been like borderline impossible previously, now with the Saudis playing mediators, it's almost like this fight could potentially materialize. But that being said, there's a very public dispute between Frank Warren and Anthony Yard and his team at the minute, where Frank Warren believes that Anthony Yard still has a fight on his contract, I think. And Anthony Yard and that believe they're free agents and they're no longer tied down to Frank Warren or Queensbury promotions. Now, there's a chance that's going to go to court. And if it doesn't go to court and it still gets resolved, there's a chance that Frank Warren will block any Saudi activity and Anthony Yard. You know, Frank Warren's in that inner circle now. He's doing his bit to boost Riyadh season and promote Riyadh season. So if he's got a personal issue with Anthony Yard or whatever, there's every chance that Anthony Yard won't be part of any Riyadh season events and maybe the best he'll do is end up on Sky Sports and Boxer at some stage, but I don't know if it's that deep, I don't know if they've resolved it, maybe I'm late to the table, maybe that's been brushed under the carpet and it's finished with, because realistically, if you're Tunde Ajayi and Anthony Yard and that little team there, you can't really pick a worse time to have a promotional dispute with your promoter than right now in the time of boxing, like in the current boxing climate. It makes no sense to freeze yourself out with legal troubles when there's more money going around than there ever has been before. So it would probably be in their best interest to patch it up a little bit, at least to the point where they can at least still work together and Anthony Yard can get his share of this Saudi money because every man in his dog seems to be getting paid, so why not Anthony Yard? So I wouldn't be surprised if it were to get blocked if it was to be proposed, but at the same time, I'd be even more surprised if they don't patch this up and agree to work together for the sake of getting that bag, if you know what I mean. But that being said... Should they make the fight? How do I see it going? Now, this is a tough one for me because Anthony Yard is a legit number three sort of ranked light heavyweight. Like, he's not quite elite, but every time he goes in there with someone elite, he holds his own. He gives a good account of himself. And every time you see him lose, you're like, oh, do you know what? Against the right champion, he's going to win a world title one day because he's given a great account of himself. It's just he's in there with guys that come across once every century or once every decade, if you know what I mean. But at £175, David Benavidez isn't one of them top guys. And not only that, he's got a strap as well. So for Anthony Yard, I think it's a winnable fight. He's got the power to maybe hurt David Benavidez. He's got a decent boxing IQ. And he's a Brit, so I should really back him in a hypothetical fight against David Benavidez. And when you factor in that David Benavidez seemed to struggle at £175, not with outboxing Vodzig, but with bringing up that power. And if like Benavidez doesn't have any power against Anthony Yard, then surely you have to favour Anthony Yard as a heavy favourite in that fight. With all that being said, the only way I'm going against David Benavidez is if he goes in the ring with either Dmitry Bivo, Artur Baturbiev, and maybe even David Morel Jr. But from where I'm sitting, even though I gave Anthony Yard all those props about being a potential world champion one day, I just don't think he's going to beat David Benavidez. I mean, he may hold some advantages, but I'm not going against the Mexican monster, not unless he's one of the big dogs.